Good morning, we're in the Terry Fox Plaza out front of BC Place and today we're going to go to the BC Sports Hall of Fame. Let's go and explore. The BC Sports Hall of Fame was founded in 1966 and collects, preserves and studies materials that relate to British Columbia's sports history. In 1993, the Hall of Fame moved into its current location in BC Place Stadium. This exhibit showcases some of the recent inductees to the Hall of Fame in 2019. Here are Daniel and Hendrik Sedin who played their entire careers for the Vancouver Canucks NHL team from 2000 to 2018. During their careers, Daniel was known as the goal scorer and Henrik was known as the playmaker. Daniel tallied 393 goals and 648 assists in over 1,300 games played, making him the Canucks' second highest point scorer of all time. In addition to serving as the Canucks captain from 2010 until his retirement, Henrik became the Canucks top point scorer in 2005-2006, won three Cyrus McLean trophies as the team's leading point scorer, and the Cyclone Taylor Award as the team's most valuable player in 2010. Another inductee is the 1968 New Westminster Salmon Bellies lacrosse team. In 1968, the Salmon Bellies finished the season in third place behind Portland and Vancouver. New Westminster managed to beat Vancouver in a hard-fought semi-final round and then went on to beat Portland in six games to represent the West in the final. Despite being an underdog against the heavily favored Detroit Olympics, the Salmon Bellies won the World Championship in six games. The 2019 inductee for the WAC Bennett Award was Ron Toigo, majority owner and president of the Vancouver Giants WHL team. Ron played a major role in bringing the 2006 World Junior Championships to Vancouver, which was widely considered to be one of the most successful World Junior Hockey tournaments in the history of the event. The Hall of Fame also dedicates several galleries to BC sports heroes. This one is for Terry Fox, Canadian athlete, humanitarian and cancer research activist. In 1980, after having one leg amputated due to cancer, Terry Fox embarked on a cross-country run to raise money and awareness for cancer research. After 143 days and over 5,000 kilometers, the spread of his cancer eventually forced him to end his quest. However, his efforts resulted in a lasting worldwide legacy. Terry Fox runs have been held annually since 1981 and have grown to involve millions of participants in over 60 countries. This is now the world's largest one-day fundraiser for cancer research. Over $750 million has been raised in Terry Fox's name. Terry Fox was awarded the Distinguished Order of Canada, as well as the Order of Dogwood, British Columbia's highest honour for public service. This gallery is dedicated to Canadian track and field athlete Rick Hansen, who is also an activist and philanthropist for people with disabilities. Rick Hansen became a paraplegic after being involved in a pickup truck accident at the age of 15. He became friends with Terry Fox, and inspired by Terry's courage, Rick Hansen decided to undertake a similar journey to prove the potential of people with disabilities. Rick completed his Man in Motion Tour, a 26-month long trek crossing through 34 different countries and logging more than 40,000 kilometers in a round-the-world tour. Through his endeavors, Rick managed to raise $26 million for spinal cord research and quality of life initiatives, and he continues to champion such causes today. Greg Moore was a Canadian race car driver who competed in Indy Light and Championship Auto Racing Teams events between 1993 and 1999. He began competitive kart racing at an early age of 10 and achieved early success progressing quickly to compete in the Formula Ford Championships in 1991 and 1992, as well as the Indy Lights Championship in 1995. 
He began competing in kart in 1996 and showed an incredible amount of skill for such a young age. Unfortunately, Greg was killed in a tragic accident in the last race of the 1999 kart season. Since then, Moore's car number 99 has been retired as a sign of respect, and the Greg Moore Foundation has been established in his honor to continue his legacy through charitable causes. The BC Sports Hall of Fame overlooks BC Place Stadium, which was built for the 1986 World's Fair. It was the world's largest air-supported domed stadium until 2010 when it was deflated in preparation for a new retractable roof. The main sports tenants at BC Place are the BC Lions CFL team and the Vancouver Whitecaps MLS team. This exhibit is dedicated to Louis Pisaglia, who played with the BC Lions for 25 years. Louis played a pivotal role in three BC Lions Grey Cup championships, including kicking the winning field goal in both the 1994 and 2000 Grey Cups. He was definitely a crowd favorite, and by the end of his career, fans would shout the chant of Lou before every field goal attempt. Louis Pisaglia retired in the year 2000 as the all-time leading scorer in pro football history. Down here is a collection of uniforms from BC sports teams. Some that would be familiar to visitors are the Vancouver Grizzlies NBA team, which was established in 1995 as part of the NBA expansion into Canada. This is the jersey for the Vancouver Voodoo inline hockey team. They were one of 12 teams to join the Roller Hockey International League in 1993 before the league unfortunately folded in 1996. The BC Sports Hall of Fame introduced an Olympic exhibit after the 2010 Winter Olympics which were held in Vancouver. Here's a collection of Olympic torches starting from right to left is the 1976 Montreal torch, the 1988 Calgary torch, 1996 Atlanta and 2002 Salt Lake City, then 2004 Athens Torch and 2006 Torino Torch on the left. Here's an Olympic bobsled that was used by the Canada 2 team that won silver at the 2010 Winter Olympics. A collection of team uniforms including the Pakistan uniform on the left, the placard bearer uniform in the middle and the Czech Republic uniform on the right. Here's the medal podium from the 2010 Winter Olympics. As well as a tuxedo that Michael Bublé wore when he performed in the opening ceremonies of the 2010 Winter Olympics. Here's a collection of artifacts from the 2010 gold medal Winter Olympic hockey teams, including jerseys from Sidney Crosby, Scott Niedermeyer, and Haley Wickenheiser. And this goal light helmet was worn by superfan David Ash during the 2010 Winter Olympic run. Here are some more Olympic torches on the on the right is the Pyeongchang Olympic torch, the Rio Olympic torch, as well as the 2012 London Olympics torch. There are two torches from the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics. The first one on the left is the very first torch that was used in the relay. And the second on the right is the final torch that was used to light the Olympic cauldron. The final torch bearers in Vancouver were Nancy Green, Rick Hansen, Katrina LeMay Doan, and Wayne Gretzky. Finally on the left is the 2008 Beijing Olympic torch. The Indigenous Peoples Gallery is dedicated to showcasing the great accomplishments of the First Nations peoples of British Columbia. Kyla Mussel is the world's only female professional saddle bronco rider, a typically male-dominated sport. She's a member of the Squaw First Nation. Kyla grew up in Chilliwack and began riding about the same time that she was learning to walk. She competed in her first Saddle Bronc event in 2000 and moved on to the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association events in 2002. 
Even after breaking her neck in 2014, she continues to compete and has won countless rodeos in Canada, the US, and New Zealand. Phil Mack is one of Canada's most capped Rugby Sevens players. In 2016, he became the 29th player and first Canadian to score 50 HSBC Seven Series appearances. Phil was chosen to captain Team Canada against the Maori All Blacks in 2017 and has played a key role in founding the Thunder Indigenous Rugby Organization, which provides opportunities for Indigenous youth to play rugby throughout British Columbia. Gino Ojik played for the Vancouver Canucks and was a crowd favourite. Despite his generally gentle demeanour, he was assigned the role of enforcer and compiled over 2,500 penalty minutes during his career. Kerry Price was born in British Columbia and played goaltender for the Montreal Canadiens NHL team. He won a gold medal with Team Canada at the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. Finally, it wouldn't be a trip to a Canadian Sports Hall of Fame without a Zamboni. The Zamboni on display is just the third one ever constructed. This model was purchased for about $10,000 in 1956 and was delivered by the machine's inventor Frank Zamboni. It cleaned the ice at the Vancouver Forum for many years and later spent several decades clearing the ice at the White Rock Centennial Arena. Thanks for joining. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe and share. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.